What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we're getting back after it on the Series 13 ladder, but this time using a Life or Rayquaza team alongside Weakness Policy, Solgaleo. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, seriously, take two seconds out of your day to scroll down a little bit and click that big red subscribe button. It really goes a long way. I want to give a huge shout out to everybody who is helping me grow as a content creator. But before we get started here with today's team preview, I want to give a huge shout out to the team creator at Harold HD. Thank you so much for making this team. If you guys want to go check out his content, I will be leaving his YouTube and Twitter down in the description below. But with that out the way, let's get started here with today's team preview. Starting off in that top left corner, we have the one and only Tornadus. And Tornadus is arguably one of the best support Pokemon in the game. He's just super solid all around, and he does really well when he's paired up with Kyogre in that rain. He got Prankster as his ability, alongside with the Focus Sash as his item, and then the four moves it is rocking with is going to be Hurricane, Icy Wind, Protect, and Tailwind. Second Pokemon is going to be that Kyogre. Like I said, pairs up well with the Tornadus, and it is really good on its own. It's got Drizzle to set the rain, alongside the Choice Scarf as item, so it's going to be able to pretty much outspeed any Pokemon on the field. It's got Water Spout, it's got Origin Pulse, Thunder, and Ice Beam, a fairly normal moveset for any Kyogre. Third Pokemon on today's team is going to be Rayquaza over here. Rayquaza, I have not used for Series 13 yet, and I think it is definitely an underrated Pokemon in the VGC format as of right now. It's got Airlock, it's got Life Orb as item, and it's rocking Dragon Scent, Outrage both for Stab, then it's got EQ and Protect for its final two moves. Fourth Pokemon on the team is going to be Sableye. Sableye is so good in my opinion. I absolutely love it, and it is such a pain to go up against. It has Prankster alongside with the Citrus Berry, and then it's rocking Sucker Punch to proc the weakness policy on Solgaleo, and then it's got Quash, will o and Fake Out for its final three moves. I love Sableye. Super strong, super great support mod, really good at just controlling the battle. Bottom left hand corner is going to be Zacian, but not just any Zacian. It is an imprisoned Zacian, which is really cool. I've never used an imprisoned Zacian before, but I'm guessing it is for going up against other Zacians. So say you have a chance to imprison them or like read a protect on them, you can just imprison and then they can't really do anything. I think it's pretty cool. I definitely think it's pretty cool. It's got Interpret Sword, Rust's Sword, and then the Iron Head Player off Imprison Protect for its moveset. Final Pokemon on today's team is going to be Sokaleo over here with Full Metal Body and the Weakness Policy as item. Rock and Sun Seal Strike, EQ, Wild Charge, and Wide Guard to help protect us from double hitting moves. Guys, if you want to rent this team for yourself, the rental code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Look to get some wins with this Rayquaza and Weakness Policy Solgaleo team. Hopping into battle number one, and I just realized after I recorded the intro that I did not change question of the day or the team in the team preview on the layout. But it is changed now, so you guys gotta let me know for question of the day, will you guys be getting the brand new Legend of Zelda game? That game looks amazing. I'm definitely gonna be getting it, doing guides playthrough on the channel. Hopefully you guys will enjoy that and actually be picking up the game too. But we have bigger problems on our hands right now. We're hopping into our first battle, and uh, this opponent right here is 11th in the world right now ranked 11th i am around like 1300 i think i am i'm not too sure i think i'm around like 1300 but why am i getting paired up with these top guys i guess it's because i beat the top 10 ranked the other day but um let's try to get a win here let's definitely try to get a win here but how should i go into this one how should i play it um bu -bu 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 she has a very strong team very strong team you could go women's for speed control i kind of just want to go like tornadus maybe alongside with kyogre with that choice scarf he'll be really really good he could also go into kirim but mm, do we think he's gonna lead kirim with the Whimscott? It is definitely an option. It is definitely an option, but I'm going to go in with them too. I am going to bring Zacian in the back end because you know Zacian is just amazing. And last but not least, do we bring Rayquaza or do we bring Solgaleo? I'm kind of leaning a bit towards Rayquaza here just because he's Rayquaza and he's sick. And Solgaleo can't really do... Actually, it could be solid. Solgaleo could be solid. I guess Solgaleo here, it could be solid, but I'm really leaning towards Rayquaza here. I just like it a lot more. I really do. So I'm going to lock it in. I'm going to lock it down. We're going to look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number one but maybe i should have went so there because i just realized that you know rayquaza has airlock and if i get him in there with kyogre he can kind of neglect a lot of what kyogre is trying to do but we'll try to keep him separate for them for most of the time so let's see who our opponent ends up leading he does not know we have the choice scarf on our kyogre which is amazing that's why i love that item and we can see what we can go from there he's gonna go these two and i'm really really cool with that so i can tell when i can fully take speed control i mean does Kyogre outspeed already because if Kyogre outspeeds already, I might just take a shot at the Zacian here. I don't know. Let's go see Kyogre speed real quick. Definitely want to see because Water Spout can do some. It can do some work. It could definitely do some work here. 
So Kyogre, let's see what you're cooking with. So I might Dynamax him after we go for a Choice Scarf shot. I could go for an Icy one instead. But uh, let me see. Let's go Pokemon. Let me see your speed. Are you outspeeding this lovely? Oh, you might. You might. I don't think I want to bank on it, though. I think you do. I think he does outspeed. Right? Yeah, I believe I believe he does outspeed. So I, I think I'm just going to go for an Icy Wind just in case this thing's sashed. And slow down both these guys and just drop a Water Spout all across the board, right? Could be my play. I think it's my play all day. He might end up protecting Zacian. He does end up protecting Zacian. So I'm going to try to get rid of this... Uh, this little Pokemon over here. We do outspeed. Beautiful. I'm going to try to get rid of the Calyrex here with an Icy Wind. We are not Tailwind until next turn. We can save our speed. And that is going to bring it straight down to the Sash. The so Sash comes out here. Probably drop an Astro Brash, right? I wish we had like a first turn priority move. That could have been amazing. And a Snarl is going to fly. And I'm cool with a Snarl. I am kind of cool with a Snarl. I could hard swap here. I could definitely hard swap. I could Tailwind if I want to. Icy Wind's going to come out here. I could Tailwind into a hard swap because he could come after me. Or I can just stick into another Water Spout. But he's going to bring out a Pokemon that he wants to Dynamax. Exactly what he's going to do. He's going to bring out a Pokemon that he wants to Dynamax. Um, hmm. What's the Jeans player? What is the Jeans player? It really depends on who he goes into. But again, this is number 11. This is number 11. So if I can win this battle, you guys owe me props. You guys owe me props. He's going to go into Kyogre, and I believe Kyogre's going to be that Dynamax Pokemon, right? Definitely makes a lot of sense. I could go into a Hurricane look for Ducks, but Tailwind is going to be your play. I'm going to set him up here, and I could Dynamax go for Thunders. Or I can hard swap out into, say, Rayquaza here. Maybe just airlock everything. And save my Choice Scarf for the back end. That could be the play. That could be the play. I'm kind of leaning towards. Hmm. Or I could say in here, just drop a Water Spout and save my Dynamax for Rayquaza and airlock that up with later. That ain't a bad turn. That is not a bad turn. I kind of want to do that. I'm going to Tailwind here. And I'm just going to drop a Water Spell. And the reason I want to Tailwind right here, right now, is because I do not want my Tornadus to go down without him getting up a Tailwind. So he is going to end up Dynamaxing this Pokemon. That's totally fine. I'm fine with that. I was going to airlock it, but again, I, I want to get off this Water Spell. I want to get off some damage onto this uh, onto this Ascian. And maybe, just maybe, we could take it out. I don't even know if we can. But after his Tailwind, I can legit pick it. But I think he picks up a double kill. I think he does pick up a double kill. But this is going to be a close battle. This is really going to be a close battle. My problem here is going to be that the ice move coming in hot from the uh, Kyogre. The ice move coming in hot could be scary. So we're going to drop a water spout. Ooh, damage is nothing. And we get a crit on. Who do we get a crit on? I don't even know. I can't read the names. Playoff's going to fire. Can you soak that? You don't. Again, Sassy's OP. It's Pokemon rips. No problem. So he's going to pick up the easy double kill. Is he changing up weather? No, he's just going to go straight, guys. He's going to keep it this way. And I'm hoping that this thing's not rocking ice beam, but most Kyogres do, right? Most Kyogre's do. So what I could do here is I can Dynamax Rayquaza. Uh, hmm, I could Max Guard Rayquaza here, to be honest. Which I might end up doing. I may, I might Max Guard the Rayquaza. And then just go straight into a Behemoth Blade here. And hope that the Rayquaza or the uh, Kyogre is going into an Ice Beam into me. And he might even be protecting his acid. So we could make that play there. Just guard the Rayquaza. Behemoth Blade into the uh, Kai Ogre, get off as much damage as we can, and then kind of just go from there. I think that's our play all day. I really do think that's our play. Because again, if he's rocking the Ice Move, there's no doubt in my mind he's trying to throw it onto my Rayquaza slot. He's going to withdraw his ass. Cool with that. He's going to show his last Pokemon. Who's he going to be? Let me Incineroar. Okay, so smart play, him coming out with Incineroar, and I am physical attacking on my Rayquaza, aren't I? Dragon Ascent Outreach. Oh, that's ugly. That is ugly. So he's going to hard swap an next turn. Hurts the soul, man. Hurts the soul. It does hurt the soul. So Zassian coming. He's going to be able to come back out here and do some work. The first battle, not looking too hot for us. It's not looking good here. It's definitely not looking good. Because Behemoth Blade is going to be able to soak. I was hoping that like two Behemoth Blades can take out. But I could go for a Quake next turn. But I don't think Quake's going to allow Rayquaza to really soak up too well. Let's see how some plays. I'm going to end up guarding. Show me you're going for that... that that hailstorm into my Rayquaza. I think that's the only way of winning. I mean, we have the we have the airlock, so like rain isn't really doing much. But Hemoth Blade's gonna fire, and yeah, it's not doing too much. It's not looking not looking good. He's gonna go to the hailstorm. We do end up blocking it, which is beautiful. So we end up blocking that move, and I could go for a. What do I do here? I go for another blade. I'm thinking I should. Blade into a quake here, just in case he wants to swap back. 
Or I can double down into that other slot. I think I'm just gonna quake, look for a special defense boost here. So he goes for the fake out, he just fake out that turn. You little biscuit. We're gonna grant a special defense boost. And we'll go from there. This isn't gonna kill, but it should be able to do like maybe half damage, maybe trigger berry. Yeah, about half. About half. And we'll see if he's rocking the berry. Probably, right? Citrus berry, I would assume. But special defense boost is huge. So if he goes to a hailstorm, I feel like we can eat this up, right? Yeah, let's go for the hailstorm. Can you eat this up? Again, it is four times super effective. And it is scary, but eat this up, Rayquaza. You do, beautiful. So we end up eating. Battle's actually super, super close. And I could imprison here. I could imprison to look the clutch up. I could imprison to look the clutch up. I think I am going to do that. I think I am going to imprison here. Imprison Zassian and then just go into a Wormwind? And try to get rid of the Kyogre, but I don't think we can get rid of the Kyogre. That's my problem. That is my problem. We're going to hope. We are going to hope. He might end up swapping the Zassian. Or swapping the Incineroar into the Zassian. And at this point, we can imprison it. Kind of go from there. And now he's going to stay in. So I'm just going to imprison. I feel like it's our only last option here to try to win this game. And one one's going to fly. Can we get like crit or just take this thing out cleanly? Be beautiful. We do take it out. That's a big time KO. That's a big time KO because I don't think Zassian can do anything. I don't think Zassian can do anything, right? Unless this Incineroar is taking me out with the Flare Buds. Let's see what he's going for. He's going to Parting Shot. I'm kind of cool with that. Like, our, we have Imprisoned set up here. He's going to get Intimidate off again. This is, this, this is not bad plays by us. Not bad plays. Coming down to the wire here. It is coming down to the wire. Again, yo, Zassian cannot really do much. We just protect an EQ. Try to get rid of this Incineroar. Incineroar can start faking out. I feel like we have to go after Incineroar. I could double protect here. What do I do? What does Jeans do here? The Tailwind's gone. I feel like we don't worry about the Zassian, right? Unless it's rocking Sacred Sword. <laughs> Unless it's rocking Sacred Sword. But I wonder. I wonder. I think it would, right? I think it would, right? I think he's just going to start Sacred Swording me. Okay. At this point... I think I just protect. But well, what do I do? Yeah, I, I think I gotta get after this Incineroar, right? He's gonna fake me out. Ah, oh, man. We go into an outrage. I'm gonna go into an outrage. We're doing it. We're going into an outrage here. I think outrage goes straight across, right? He goes for a quick attack. Wow, he has quick attack. We sh we don't eat that. That hurts soul. So we don't eat that. He d he doesn't go for a fake out. Can play rough KO. We missed our player off. That 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 hurts his soul, man. We are minus three. Flare Blitz gonna take us out. That's rough, man. That is rough. I thought the imprison trick was gonna work. I really did think it was gonna work. But solid first battle here. We end up missing our player off. I wonder what would have happened there. I really do. If we would have landed that player off, I don't know if it would have been able to KO, but we definitely would have had a chance at this one. I'm telling you guys right now, I think play rough is my most hated move in Pokemon Sword and Shield. I kid you not, I miss it all the time. I really do wonder if we had a shot at winning that battle, if that play rough would have connected. Because I don't know if it would have KO'd or not. Because if it would have killed, Zacian could have only used quick attacks on us, and we might have been able to two-tap it and win that game. Definitely would have been really close. Love that battle. We almost beat a top 11 player. But we're hopping into our second battle here, going up against another similar team to us. He has Kyogre, he has Calyrex, he has the Incineroar, Rillaboom, Whimsicott, and Mimikyu. So Trick Room is definitely an option. Um, I could go Solgaleo just to kind of get in for this battle, but he might go uh, Mimikyu just to pop the Trick Room. He's definitely an option. I could go, uh, no, you do outspeed. Um, hmm. Who do I want to go into? I could go Kyogre and Zacian, which is not a bad lead. Unless he goes Incineroar. Incineroar is kind of a pain. Incineroar is definitely a pain. I mean, I could go... With this thingy. I could just start burning Pokemon. I mean, if he's going to go Trick Room, he's going to go into a Fake Out Mon. I think Kyogre is really solid all around. I'm just going to go Kyogre here for the lead. I could go in with... Sogaleo is not bad here too. Or I could just go... Let's go here. Let's go Sableye and Sogaleo here. Because I can eventually quash Pokemon. And kind of roll off from there. So I'm going to go in with them too. I am going to bring, I think, Kyogre in the back end. And then just have Zassian floating around. Probably a rest bet, right? Or maybe we should have went Rayquaza over Kyogre because I just realized Rillaboom's a problem. But you never know. You never know. Kyogre can always be solid. It can always be solid. But we'll see how this one plays out here because I think he just wants to try to pop Trick Room. And if I get my weakness policy proc, I can eventually just like quash out and kind of roll out the battle for that, which I really, really like. We'll see what he wants to do. 
We shall see. Is it going to be Mimikyu and Cinnor? Mim Mims and Cinnor? Mimikyu and... Okay. Hi, Ogre. I think I'm just proccing policy and uh, going after the Kyogre. I am scared of the burn. The burn is scary. The burn is definitely scary. But again, I could fake out. I could definitely fake out. Uh, I think I might do. I think I'm just going to fake out and just uh, sensor strike. I could wide guard. I think I'm just going to take off his, his little disguise here. I don't think he died in Mexico Kyogre just yet. I really don't. Unless he wants to max guard it. I don't think he died in Mexico just yet. Let's see what he does. Let's see what he does. What are you going to do? A little confused here. He is going to die in Mexico. Oh! Oh, that's ugly. That is ugly. So he ends up dying in Mexico. I don't like that one bad. I should have probably his policy and got after him. But now he takes out my... Uh, now he takes out my Solgaleo, doesn't he? He could pop a trick room. This could get ugly. This can get ugly real quick. This can get real ugly. Fake out can come out here. I guess we'll do a little bit damage to him. Tipping him up a little bit. Sunseal Strike. We do outspeed right now. Sunseal Strike's gonna come in here. Take off this thing's disguise, but if I had to guess, he's going for Trick Room, right? He's going for Trick Room and he's gonna take out my Soko Leo at the same time. Oh. Wait a minute, what? I am so confused. I mean, I'll take that all day. Who you going after? Go after my, uh. He goes after Sableye. Cool. Sableye's gonna go down. I'm kinda cool with that because I can still Dynamax my Soko Leo. Wait a minute, why did that KO? Let me see this thing's moves. Prevents others' Pokemon moves or abilities from lowering their stats. Yeah, no, I know that. But does Sunshine Strike hit through stuff? Let's see. Yes, it does hit through abilities. Woo! I totally forgot about that. I totally forgot about that. That's huge. Um, I could bring in Zassy and I could bring in Kyogre. I think Kyogre's gonna be our play. And I might just Dynamax this Pokemon and save the Choice Scarf for later. But we'll see. We'll see once it goes into it. I'm gonna go on the Whimscott. So Tailwind is obviously gonna come out here. I could Sunshine Strike that. Hit that thing up. He could go for a. Uh, I could double down into that. I could definitely double down into that. But I feel like a lightning is going to be my play. Just lightning into that thing. And I could wild charge. I could double down. But I feel like we just go away after Wimscott, right? Wimscott could pop a trick room or tail and he can really do whatever. He can really do whatever he wants. So I'm going to Dynamax my Kyogre here. And the best part about Kyogre is after the, the Tailwind or after his Dynamax is gone, he is going to be in a Choice Scarf. And then I can pick my move, which is really good. So I'm going to Dynamax him. And we're gonna get after that. Tailwind is going to be annoying, but he could be popping a trigger. You never know. You never know, because Wimscott can do both. Wimscott can do both. And it is going to be a Tailwind. So Tailwind's out and about. Um, I wonder who he's going after. I really do. I really do wonder who he's going after. He's gonna geyser my Sogaleo. Can you eat that up, Sogaleo? Do a little tasty snack action here. You cannot, dude. I hate Series 13. It is so rough, man. It's just Zassy and Kyogre just pimp slapping people. Lightning's gonna fly here. We're gonna chip up some damage. Bink do pretty much nothing. And I could protect this turn and drop another one if I want to, but is that my play? I think I have to protect this shot, right? I think I have to protect this shot. I could go Zassian and I'm thinking of just dropping a Hailstorm into the uh into the what's it called and just change up the weather. I think that's our best bet. Hailstorm straight into the uh Wimscott. I have to just protect. Kind of going from there. Just so I can get rid of the Wimscott and wall from there. And then if this thing has charm, you can kind of just block it. Okay. I'm cool with that. God dang, Series 13. Doing me dirty, man. Doing me so dirty. Again, it's just Zacians and Kyogre's just one type of Pokemon left and right. It's so tough. It is so tough in Series 13. I don't know what they were thinking when they were just like, yo, let's, let's let the players use every single strong Pokemon on one team. They, the Pokemon company all looked at each other like, you know what? That seems perfectly balanced. And I just threw it in the game. And we're all just like, what is going on here? What is going on? <laughs> it's just a mess. It is just an absolute mess. It really is. It really is just a mess right now. But our opponent's thinking what he should do. And he's going to end up guarding. Oh, we love that turn. We don't mind that turn. We don't mind that turn. I like that turn. I'm not going after you, Kyogre. You thought I was doubling down? You thought I was doubling down? And there's the charm. There's a charm. We get rid of Wimscott. That is huge. Wimscott is gone now. It's a beautiful turn from us. Amazing turn from us. Might have just want to see him. 
Might just want to see game because I still have one more turn left in Dynamax. He cannot guard. He cannot protect. I can lightning that slot. And we can get after the battle that way. Dude, like that. Solid turn from us. Great, great turn from us. He ended up overthinking his turn, I think. Happens all the time. I do it all the time. He's probably thinking, he's, he's like, he's like, Gene's probably doubling down into me. Blah, 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 blah. This, that, this, that. Cool, cool, cool. Another lightning does take out the Kyogre, which is huge. And then Tailwind ends in one more turn. And then I could choice Scarf up. Oh, shoot. So who's his final Pokemon? Of course. Of course. Of course it is. Guy, but Zassian could soak up some shots. I mean, he could fake me out, but I gotta go for this lightning and get rid of this Pokemon. He's gonna rock the seeds. He's rocking the seeds, and the seeds kind of suck because his defense boost coming in here. Okay, so his Kyogre. Do we go after his Kyogre, or do we just. I feel like we just. Hail, we could Hailstorm and try to get rid of this thing. I feel like my Kyogre can 1v1 this thing all day with Thunders. I still have my choice. I still have my choice. I'm gonna go there. I am going to play rough into this slot. And try to go from there. That's my play. I think like Rillaboom just poses a bigger threat. Because once this Dynamax turn is over, this Rillaboom will be able to take me out one shot. He can't take me out right now. I can definitely eat up a uh, what's it called. Actually, if he doubles down into me, that can be but as long as my Zassin can get rid of this, uh, as long as this Zassin can get, get rid of this Kyrie this turn, and I use Player Off, and I'm terrified. I think this thing is going to miss. I really do. I really do think this Player Off is going to miss. I don't know why I have an odd feeling. He ends up just going straight for Thunder. Maybe he thinks I'm protecting here. But I'm able to soak this. He does not go for Grass Guy, which is pretty big for us. You going for Woodhammer? What are you going for? High Horsepower. So he doubles down into him. I don't mind that. I don't mind that. Because again, this Hailstorm should be able to KO. And then my Kyogre can 1v1 this. I'll just choice into a Thunder. Hailstorm KO, please. Thank you very much. Beautiful. So solid turn from us. Again, I did not mind that. I did not mind that. I know my Kyogre can 1v1 this. As long as he lands his shots. As long as he lands his shots. He just needs to land one Thunder. We just need RNG to be on our side a little bit. I think Tailwind ends, right? Does Tailwind end? Show me that Tailwind ends, please. Did not end. Tailwind did not end yet. Nah, so again, I'm still going to drop Thunder. I think we can soak up one Thunder at least. I don't think he can soak up a Thunder. So I'm going to go for the Thunder. I think he has one chance this. Hopefully he misses. And I can hit it. He goes for a thunder. He connects it. Dude, I'm going to miss my thunder. Or he's going to get a paralyzed. This is going to be ugly. Or he just KOs me. Or he just KOs me. I couldn't soak that one up. That hurts his soul. That really does. Third and final battle coming at you guys. And you guys know the deal on the Genes YouTube channel. We do not go 0-3 in any YouTube video. And we are sitting at 0-2. So we have to win this third and final battle. But I'm surprised that that Thunder actually KO'd me. Did a lot more damage than I thought it would. And both our first battle and our second battle were definitely really, really close. I'm surprised we weren't able to pull out at least one victory. But I'm telling you guys. We're grabbing one here. We're going up against a Jirachi and Mew team alongside our Kyogre. Regilecki, and then he's rocking with the Eternatus and Wimscott. So I feel like we have to definitely bring some speed control here. Tornadus is going to be great. I could also lead the Zassian. Zassian could also be phenomenal. But Regilecki could be annoying. So I could go into... Huh. We go there. We could go over Rayquaza. I mean, Rayquaza isn't too bad. Rayquaza isn't too bad for lead. I could go Sogaleo as lead. Sogaleo solid. Has a lot of different moves. Kind of get after these guys, and he is rocking with this policy. So you know what? I might just go in with him. I might just go in with him. But the speed's not bad. He's got the wild charge. He's got the EQ. I really do like the sets he has on. So you know what? We are gonna go to him. I'm gonna go to them too. I am going to bring Zassy in the back end, and then last but not least, do I go Ray Ray, or do I just go with Kyogre? I feel like Kyogre just gets a lot of value. So Kyogre's definitely an option. Yeah, we got to grab ourselves a win here. We're not playing around. We're not playing around this third final battle. We need a win here. We definitely need a win. But I'm kind of scared of the Mew because I have no idea what this Mew is going to do. As you guys know, Mew can legit learn any move. So he can legit have any moves. So you cannot, like, assume that a Mew has this move because it can have any moves. And it's just crazy all around. So let's see. He goes Kai Ogre and he goes Eternatus. Uh, I'm cool with that. I am fine with that. Uh... He does have Dynamax Cannon, which is scary. Uh, boom, boom, boom. I could go into Quake. Tailwind Quake, go for Special Defense Boost. That's not a bad turn for us. That really isn't a bad turn for us. So I am kind of lean turns. I think that might be your best play. I do have Max Lightning, but again, I feel like the Tailwind. 
into the quake is probably your best bet because the special defense boost is going to be huge especially up against two special attackers right here i mean kyogre could be choice but i think after the tailwind we outspeed it right yeah because our speed's very similar the speeds are very similar with the so -called. he withdraws he turns us what's he gonna go into whimsicott okay i don't mind a whimsicott i don't mind a whimsicott I do not mind a Whimsicott. So I'm going to Dynamax. It's not going to do too much here. Hurricane can take it out next turn. But the special defense boost is really what I'm trying to roll out here with. Probably my best bet, right? I mean, I wish I had to move to proc my policy. I did not bring my save line, but I'm cool with this. I don't mind it. I really don't mind it. So I don't know if he Dynamax in Kyogre, is he? Yeah, so Kyogre is going to get the Dynamax. I, you just see Kyogre way too much, man. Series 13 is just a mess. It really is. The creators were just like, yeah, let's put every single legendary Pokemon in. Or someone came into like the boardroom. They're just like, yo, let's put every single legendary Pokemon in this series. You can just use them all on the team. They looked around at each other and they were all like, yeah, yo, that's a great idea. Like, who, 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 who had this idea? Who had this idea? It's a mess out here. It's an absolute mess. It really is. It's just a mess. <laughs> Quake's gonna fly here. How much damage are we doing with this Quake? Not too much, but again. I really just want that special defense piece. I can Hurricane take him out next turn. Unless he Hailstorms me here. But I don't think he has a Moxie to Hailstorm. I really do not think he does. And the guys are yeah. No Moxie whatsoever. He geysers me. Togoleo says, yo, that's a tasty snack. And that actually did a lot more than I thought. He halves me. He has Orb. Orb is scary. We can Hurricane here. He is going to Tailwind. Where do I do this? What do I Icy win? I think I'm going to Icy win here. The reason I want to Icy win because if he Tailwinds, then he has uh, more speed than me. I'd rather get off a light. No. Could have quick the Wimscott again to try to survive another turn, but the Icy win's definitely to play. Because, yep, there's his Tailwind. He probably thinks, oh, Kai can outspeed now. I'm going to say, nah, yo, we're going for an Icy win here. I'm going to Icy win this turn. And I almost take out the Wimscott. So another Icy win could take out the Wimscott. And I think he would just go after a Solgaleo again, right? That has got to be this play. Yes, go after Soka later. Man. Lightning's going to fire. How much damage are we doing with this lightning? Get a crit. Do, do something good. Oh my god, that's plenty of damage. That's a lot more than I thought it would. Is that a crit? It was a crit. Yo, Pokey gods, listen to me. They're like, jeans, I got you. You asked for a crit? It's on the house. It's on the house. <laughs> so they throw it on the house here. He's going to end up going for a little geyser. He's going to take out my Soka Leo. Uh, I do not mind it. It's not too bad. And I can roll into... Am I rolling the Zacian or do I roll in the... Did I bring Ray Ray? Did I or did I bring Ogre? Yeah, Icy Wind's gonna do good. I could imprison this turn just in case he has Zacian, right? Can Icy Wind KO? That's the, that's the, that's the real question here. I would love to imprison this turn. I would love to... I, yeah, I would love to imprison this turn. I don't think Icy Wind can KO. I do not think Icy Wind can KO. I might just Hurricane in a Prisoner's turn. Who could he have in the back end? Oh, he doesn't have Zacian. Why would I imprison? Okay. He has Eternatus. I'm cool with that. But we know Icy Wind KOs Wind. So I'm going to do that. And I'm just blade this slot, right? Okay, he doesn't have Zassi. I, I I just assumed because every team has Zassi. He cotton spores me. How dare you? It's fine. Lowers my speed. Lowers his speed. I still have my choice scarf Pokemon in the back end. Demon's Blade still out speeds. Ooh, we like that. We like that a lot. He still has speed. Mwah. Send that in hot. Send that in hot. And you know, I was getting all worked up about imprisoning my Zacian. He didn't even have a Zacian. <laughs> I just assumed because every team has Zacian and Kyogre. Icy Wind comes out here. We pick up the KO. So do we have... Yeah, we have. We are user Dynamax. I was trying to think if we had it or not. We still have our Kyogre in the back end, which is enormous. So I'm kind of waiting for like the rain to stop. And then sending out Kyogre again, having that rain. Water spouting away. Trying to win this battle. But we know he has Eternatus. No Eternatus is out. So there's Eternatus. I can obviously play rough that. And then his final Pokemon is going to be... I'm going to take a wild shot and say Mew. It is Mew. It is Mew. Mew's out here. Little booger. 
little booger right there. And dang Mew. So I think Tailwind's still out on each side, right? We still have Tailwind. Our speed's down to thumps. No blame. I think I just want to ice her. Throw them down a little bit. Then I can just blade into Eternatus. Like, Mew? Is Mew really going to clutch this battle up? I don't think so. Eternatus can do some damage, but Mew? No shot. Right? No shot Mew clutches up like that. He ain't about that. I mean, Mew's scary, though. He do a lot. Probably has some crazy cool moves. Probably has some crazy cool moves. I would love to swap to Assy. Maybe I should have swapped to Assy in this turn. But we'll see us one place. We shall see us one place. He turned just going for a flamethrower in the rain. That's a nice snacky out there. It's a nice tasty snack. Assy eats that one up. And he's going to go for a psychic. So Mew's out here doing his thing. How much damage is that going to do? We eat that all day. That's late work. He's just doubling down on me. Okay, that's GG. We won this battle. Like I said, yo, third and final battle, and we're down 0 2. We always win it. We always win it. Big time Behemoth Blade coming in here. Dropping that thing down the red. Icy Wind's gonna fly. I think Icy Wind can't kill the Eternatus, right? Show it to me. See you later. No, that's beautiful. Beautiful. It indeed does. Of course it does. Of course it does. And that is going to be game, set, and match. Muse coming in the back end. It's not doing that much work. The mythicals are very underwhelming compared to the legendaries in this series. There's only a few mythicals that can hang, like Magkirna. Uh, Melmetal can hang in the Trick Room. Marshadder is really good. And I think uh, Victini can actually hang with these guys too. But again, uh, you're going to see a lot of the top teams thriving out and using uh, just straight up legendaries. Like this team right here, because they are just a lot more stronger. But we're going to Behemoth Blade. We're going to Hurricane. Our opponent cancels the battle. And there it is, guys. One and two for today's video. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. We went one and two for today's video, but battle number one and battle number two legit came this close. So we definitely could have easily had ourselves a perfect record for today's video, but not too bad. Like I said, the first battle we went up against a top 11 player in the world. And hopefully you guys enjoyed that content because that was seriously a great battle all around. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread positivity today, and I'll catch you all the next one. Peace out, everybody.